No, oh, you're looking at the cloud base of the supercell. This is the first storm moving towards Houston. Let's hang with it right here. We're looking right into the main, what we call the rain-free base, the updraft region. But these are high precipitation supercells, so a lot of rain, right? So you're not going to get a clear shot like this. But we're at the top of Memorial Tower. I just posted on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and ABC 13 Houston web team is on everything. They're already sharing it across everything. I cannot believe our tower camera was in the base of the supercell. Look at this. So if you were to see a funnel come out it'd be right in here this is supercell number one it's severe thunderstorm warning number one moving towards downtown in eastern harris county it's this first cell let's zoom in because there's a lot going on two thunderstorm warnings continue until 9 45 the cells are now merging here's cell number one okay that was the first warning cell number two watch it right here Okay, moves into cell number one. Now we have a third cell popping up as it back builds. I mean, this is just incredible. This is what happens when the cap breaks. Remember last Sunday, the ingredients were there, the cap held. This is why we're thankful for the cap. When the cap breaks and you have the ingredients, you get super cells when you have the ingredients. So this one's showing a little low level rotation just south of the Katy Freeway and it looks like the Beltway right here. So again, we watch the southwestern sides of these cells where they get inflow notches. Right now, I'm not seeing any indication uh, that I need to be concerned about rotation. We're seeing hail's the main threat right now. These storms are still not quite surface based. That's when the rotation gets closer to the ground. I'm looking at my data feeds off the side of the screen here. Again, two thunderstorm warnings until 945. Two and a half million people in this first one. Still watching for rotation along the southern sides of this. These are my Doppler winds. We're going to stick with it here briefly just to sample the winds on the southern side of this. Let me zoom out. And again, it looks like we have two spots where we might have a little low-level rotation. The middle of a rotation is substantial. These are supercells. But right here, just west of Fulcher, if you can see this right here, the bright green and red right there, also just south of Katy, uh, these are at the bottom sides of these supercells. Let me zoom in on that cell near Fulcher. Again, uh, little rotation right there just uh, south of Simonton. It's going to move in the direction of Fulcher and FM 1093. There it is north of Orchard right there. That's where that rotation is and it is just south and west of Grand Parkway right near Katy. So we're watching that cell along with the first cell. Both severe thunderstorm warnings and uh, again they continue to move off to the east. We'll wait for a new update on these warnings here coming. Uh, we're fairly close and again these storms are merging. So you can get some turbulent airflow when they merge. Again this is that spot I was just looking at with rotation. A little bit of a hook echo back near Fulcher that's moving a little bit south of Katy, it's going to be moving up in the direction of uh, it looks like Grand Parkway and uh, the Katy Freeway. That's the rain free base right there. You don't see any lightning in it. Let's go back to our tower camera. I want to show you this. I'm watching it on the side here. This is where the base of that storm is still. Look at this right here. This is the base of that supercell and it's still elevated, right? This is at the top of our memorial cam. It's still somewhat low, but it's got to get lower to really produce rotation to the ground. But right in here, that's the base of cell number one and cell number two is now running into it. So we got a lot to watch here. All right, let me get you to future track, okay? I want to get you to future track, and then we'll show you after this moves out what our forecast looks like. Again, these cells move out, and the timing on future track is not perfect here. These cells have a mind of their own, but what happens is the cells move through 10 a.m., so 30 minutes from now. This is pretty good timing, and then by 1 or 2 o'clock, I think this is actually underestimating the speed of these. By 1 or 2 o'clock, we'll see storms probably pushing east. I think this is closer to noon, what we'll see here through Houston. And then after they move out, look at that. We're done. So 80% chance, safe to say, that's 100%. I'm going to uh, boost it up to 100%. First time I've done that, actually, I think. Strong storms likely today after they move out, we will clear. Another round of strong storms on Wednesday. So be prepared for that. Again, we'll come back with any new warnings that they have. More radar hits still up ahead. And here is a live look from our...